Until now, we have defined, visualized, and built our first workflow. Then we made it amazing in the optimization section. Before rolling it out to our team, we can scale our use of Monday.com and build even more workflows. Get ready! I showed my manager our qualification process and she absolutely loves it. Now she also wants us to manage the planning of the launches on Monday.com. So first, before we start building, we should go back to those key questions and define what this workflow is. You got it! Firstly, do we have a project or a process and what's the entity? Here, we're dealing with projects. We have a set of tasks which must be completed to successfully send our applicants into space. How many projects will you manage? And how complex are they? I have three projects as we are organizing three launches, and each of them is pretty big and complex. Do you always have the same set of tasks? I have multiple departments working on each project, and the tasks can be different from one another, depending on the launch itself. What information needs to be captured for each task? I'll always need to know who is the owner, what's the status, and what's the priority, when it will be worked on, for how long, and any associated costs. What insights are you looking to report on? My manager would like to see an overall view of where each project stands, different analytics on the total cost per department, and of course a Gantt chart for all of the projects to understand the timeline better. Amazing! Now we have defined this workflow, let's choose a structure for the boards we will build. Well, I have three projects that are pretty big and complex, so I think we should create a single board per project. Each item on the board will be a task and I can use sub-items to break the tasks down into subtasks. And I'll also use a dashboard for my reporting needs. Sounds like a plan. We can add a folder here to keep all of our boards together. Now, let's go and build our first project board. Before we build it from scratch, Monday.com have loads of pre-made template boards that can save you a lot of time. Let's see. I think for my needs, the single project template is going to be a great starting point. I think so too. Oh wow, this looks great. It already has most of the columns that I need and more. Let's customize it to match my needs. First, I'll make sure all my data points are here. I see we have a people column for the owner, status columns for both the status and priority. We also have a timeline, and I see the deadline mode is activated. Yes, that's going to show you how long until your tasks are due, if they're overdue, or if they were completed on time. Nice! We also have dependencies column. I assume this has something to do with task dependencies in the project? You got that right! A dependency column is where you can define which tasks are dependent on other tasks. Once these dependencies have been defined, we can activate different automation recipes to ensure our timelines are always accurate. That sounds useful. I'll keep it. I also see I have a numbers column to show costs, which I need. However, the files column is less important, so we can remove it. I also want to see the duration of the tasks. How can we do that? Let's use one of the most helpful columns, the formula column, to calculate the difference in days between the timeline end and start date. This will give us the duration of our tasks in days. Great! We have included all of my data points by customizing the columns. As I said before, we have multiple departments working on each project, so I'd like to group my tasks this way. Finally, I'll just change the board name, and I'm done. Looking good! Before you take off, since you're going to be working with lots of people on this board, it's a great time to show you the communication functionalities available on Monday.com. You can open up any item and add an update about the task here. You can even mention the relevant team members to make sure they get notified and then they can reply to you in the same place. This will keep all of our conversations in context, so we won't need to use email anymore. Wow, what a game changer. Yes, I thought you'd like that. By the way, the inbox is a good place to keep track of all the updates on the boards you are a part of.
We've built the basic structure of one of Patricia's three project boards. In the next video, we will add some additional cool features to make it even better. See you there!